Welcome to the BI Publisher Extensibility Training. In this lesson, I'm going to discuss the BIP Customize feature, which is available from Release 7 onwards. The BIP Customize feature is only available from the XMLP server. It enables you to clone or copy a seeded out-of-the-box report. This allows you to add a new layout or to modify or delete existing layouts. Any changes you make to the customized report will not be overwritten should the seed to report be patched. The user will require the BI author role to make use of the BI customized feature. Okay, so let's get started. Having logged onto your XMLP server with a user that had the BI author role assigned, navigate to the catalog. In the catalogue, navigate to the report that you wish to customise. Once you have navigated to the report that you wish to customise, click on the More link. In the resulting drop down menu, you should see an option to customise the report. If this option is greyed out, then your user does not have the BI author or BI admin role assigned. Click on the Customize option to customize the report. Having clicked on the Customize option for the report, you are taken to the Edit screen. For now, we will just save the report and navigate back to the catalog. OK, so we've just created a custom copy of a seeded report. But where does this custom copy live? Once you've navigated back to the catalogue, you should see that there is a custom folder. So let's explore this a bit more closely. So you can see that the directory structure under the custom folder for this customised report mimics that of the city report exactly. So in this case, we have the financials folder, under that we have the transaction tax subfolder and under that we have the UK folder, mimicking the city report exactly. So let's edit this custom report. So far we haven't made any changes to this custom report so it's still the same as the seeded out of the box report. So let's pretend that we don't want this CSV format. Let's delete it. OK, so we've deleted one layout. Let's also add in a new custom layout. I'll upload a custom RTF layout and we'll call it Custom Reverse Sales. So in our custom report, we deleted the original CSV layout. We still have the original UK reverse charge sales list report layout, and we've added a custom reverse sales layout. And we've saved the report, so let's navigate back to the catalog. It is very important to note that now you have created this custom report under the custom folder, should you try to navigate back to the original seeded report, you will in fact be viewing the custom report. Let me show you and try to explain this a bit further. So I'll navigate back to the original seeded report in the catalogue. And I'll now edit that seeded report. So although you have navigated to the seeded report, under the seeded folder, you are in fact editing the custom version of the report that resides under the custom folder. To view or edit the seeded report again, you would need to either delete or rename the custom report that resides under the custom folder. 
and I'll demonstrate how to do that later on in this demo. But before I show you how to do that, let's see what happens when I try to run this report from ESS. So having logged on to ESS, I'll schedule a new process and select my report. I'll enter the parameters required by the report. I'll click on the advanced button and navigate to the output tab. So I've added an output document and I'll scroll along and I'll choose the layout. Now you can see here that the two layouts available are the two layouts from our customized version of the report. So when you create a customized version of a seated report, ESS will pick up that customized version instead of the original seated out of the box report. So in this case, I've selected the customized layout template that we added and I'll submit the job. So the job completed successfully. And you can see in the output section that the custom reverse sales template that we added was used. I'd like to show you where the job history details are recorded in BIP. So let's switch back to the XMLP server and navigate to the custom report under the custom folder. On the custom report, click on the job history link. You can see that for the custom report, there are no job history details even though we've just run a report from ESS. So where are they? Let's navigate back to the catalog. And let's navigate to the seated report under the seated folder. And again, click on the job history link, but this time for the seated report. And now you can see the job history details for the job we just submitted from ESS. So it's important to note that job histories will reside under the seeded report, not the custom version of the report in the custom folder. OK, let me show you now what happens should you delete or rename the custom report that resides under the custom folder. Let's select the custom report and rename it. I've renamed the custom report, prefixing its name with the word custom. Let's navigate back to the seeded report under the seeded folder. And let's edit the seeded report. Now that we have renamed the custom report under the custom folder, we're able to see and edit the original seeded report again. So you can see that the CSV format that we have deleted from the custom version report is now present again in the seeded report. So when you run the report from ESS, it will no longer pick up the custom version of the report, but it will pick up the original seeded report. It will only pick up the custom version of the report if the name matches that of the seeded report. So let's demonstrate this by going back to ESS and rerunning the job. So I've entered the parameters just as I did before and let's add an output document. And under the layout options, we only see the two layouts that are available in the seeded report. Again, this is because we renamed the custom version of the report, so ESS will now pick up the original seeded report again. 
if you wish to revert back to the custom version, just rename the custom version of the report to be the same as the CEDARS report. Okay, so that's the end of the demonstration. Let's just recap some of the things that we've discussed today. The BIP Customize feature allows customization of CEDARS reports, and these customizations will be preserved through patching. The feature is available from release 7 onwards. It will only be available to users that have the BI author or BI administration role assigned. And it's important to note that the custom version will override the seeded report. So when you run the report from ESS, if a custom version exists, it's that version that will be run. Also, when you navigate to the seeded folder and the seeded report, you will actually be viewing the custom version of that report. To view or edit the seeded report again, you would either need to rename or delete the custom version of the report. That's the end of this demonstration. I hope it's been helpful.